demonstrate uh, how to calculate I is equal to minus infinity to infinity e raised to or minus x squared dx. Now this is a very common integral that we often encounter uh, in mathematics. So let's see how we can solve this. Now we take i again is equal to minus infinity to infinity e raised to the power minus y squared dy. We just change the variable x to y. Now just multiply these two equations and you get i squared is equal to double integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to the power minus x squared plus y squared dx dy. Now we change changing the variables. We take say x equals to rho cos phi y equals cosine phi. You're moving from Cartesian to cylindrical coordinates. Then your equation becomes i squared equal to double integral e raised to the power minus rho squared d rho d phi. Your phi shall be varying from 0 to 2 pi. Rho will go from 0 to infinity. So this d phi comes outside as 2 pi. This becomes 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus rho square. There will be a rho here. Rho d rho. Now just change the variables. Take rho square as t. You will get 2 pi into half. 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus comes out to be simply as pi. So the result that we finally get would be i is equal to square root of pi. That, way, that is my final answer. So this integral that we add this one. This simply evaluates to i equals to square.